Hi, my name is Kendra Gilmore, and I am a teacher from Zion Lutheran School in St. Charles, Missouri, and a 2008 grad of Concordia University. And today, uh, I want to tell you about uh, the way that you can save time in your classroom, because I know as teachers, we all like to find ways to save time. And the tool that I'm going to be telling you about today is blogs. I have used blogs in my classroom in a variety of ways, and one of the most effective ways that I've used them is to communicate with my parents. Uh, in the past, I had written a weekly newsletter to my parents, but I find that a blog eliminates a lot of the steps that a weekly newsletter requires, and I save a lot of time. I also find that I share more information with my parents, such as pictures from things that are happening in my classroom um, and di directions to difficult assignments. And I also find that it eliminates the excuse that I get lost on the way home or that I got lost in a stack of papers because it is always available and online. The other way that I find blogs save time in my classroom is when I am grading student work. I have my students write a lot in my classroom and I have them do creative writing in my classroom every week. And so I find that blogging, student blogging, saves a lot of time because I always have my computer with me and I don't have to rely on being next to my uh, near the notebooks and whatnot. So um, that saves a lot of time that way. I also find that student writing improves a lot because it has the potential to reach a worldwide audience. And when that happens, students start paying attention a lot more to what they are writing and how they are writing it. Uh, when you go to look to start up a classroom blog, I highly recommend using Blogger. It is a blogging site through Google. It has a lot of really easy templates that you can use so you can get a classroom blog started in a very short amount of time and it will look very nice. And when you go to look to start uh, blogging with your students, I highly recommend using kidblog.org because it is the safest and simplest blogging platform that I have found for students.